Grüezi miteinander, ganz herzlich willkommen und einen wunderschönen guten Tag, meine sehr verehrten Damen und Herren. Ich begrüße Sie aus dem Institut für fortgeschrittene Gegenwartskunde Weltwoche Daily aus Davos und es begegnen einem hier hochinteressante Persönlichkeiten. Und jetzt stehe ich einer lebenden Legende gegenüber. Ich werde gleich auf Englisch wechseln, damit auch mein Gesprächspartner etwas versteht. Es handelt sich um den ja ruhmreichen, glorreichen, Journalisten von CNN aus den Anfangszeiten, Richard Quest, ein Charismatiker, ein, eine charismatische Energie auf dem Bildschirm. Aber ich werde nicht mehr sagen, sonst ähm, äh, befällt ihn die Bescheidenheit. Ich ähm, wechsle jetzt auf, England, auf Englisch. Richard Quest, what's the most important thing about journalism? What's the essence of of journalism to you? I think the essence, I think the essence is really, I'll tell you what, why don't you just, there you are. I think the essence of journalism is you've just got to say what you say. You've just got to not allow extraneous issues. And you, you, you know, it, it's as uh, John Mortimer wrote in Rumpel of the Bailey, you have to leave your opinions with your coat and your hat at the door. And I think there's a lot of people who come into this saying it's journalism, but actually they've got a completely preconceived view on what it should be. And that's not journalism, that's activism, which is perfectly valid, perfectly respectable, provided it's done properly. Uh, and I think that's not, a, that's not the same thing as a journalist. Curiosity and the fantastic diversity of the world, which can never oh. be understood. Oh, I think it's all about curiosity. It's all about an interest And that's not just an interest in the big stories. That's an interest in the little stories. It's an interest in what... It's about what people are doing. It's like when I talk about business journalism. What, how are you earning your money? How are you spending it? Not about, do you worship money? What are you doing to get it? And that's what it is. You have to have a fundamental interest. But the moment you start prosthesizing and the moment you start campaigning, That's not what we're about. There are certain times when you will want to do that. For example, the CNN um, Freedom Project, mm -hmm. which is against, of course, modern-day human trafficking. That's different. Mm -hmm. That is saying human trafficking is wrong, and we are now going to bring the journalistic approach mm -hmm. to that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the WEF for a second. What's the great thing, the fascinating thing about WEF, which is also widely criticized we probably talk about that too but what's the fascinating thing about WEF what take what is your take from the WEF and what's the what's the worth of it oh it's really simple there's no magic to this Not, I mean they call it the magic mountain after the Thomas Mann book but there's no magic to it it's, the reality is people are here because other people are here uh. I mean, in a sense, it's a Ponzi scheme of that sort. <laughs> you know, I mean, in terms of the people who, you know, everybody comes, you come, so I come, so he comes, so she comes. Snowballing in. And, absolutely. Um, the, the, you come here because other people are here. Do I think that it is necessarily a great... No. Do I think that often it's hot air? Absolutely. Do I think that there's a lot of pomposity? There's a lot of pretentious? Absolutely. But... There is real value in people coming together at the beginning of the year, which is why I don't think it should have been in May, in these cold winter conditions to hear where we all stand on the issues. That's the key. It's where do we stand on the issues at this point of the year. Now, related to that, related to that, this is the hard bit. <laughs> this is the hard bit because people always go on about the elites being here yeah. and not just to look around you but there's yeah. the, all these people have particularly the CEOs and the ministers and that they have one big difference to you and me what's that it's really an important difference they can affect millions of people's lives yeah. if you're the CEO of a company with 200,000 employees you can affect a lot of people mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying your views are better I'm not saying they are but but you are a player And that's why they're here. That is the point. They're not here because they are Joe Schmo. They're here because they are Joe Schmo, CEO of Big X. And Joe Schmo, CEO of Big X, can influence the lives of hundreds of thousands of people. What is the biggest story at the moment and what is two. interesting the, to you most? Yeah. Davos, is always in two, Davos has always got two distinct groups here. The first 
are those people who are doing, if you will, the nuts and bolts. They are here covering NGOs with poverty, water, health, women's health, education, technology. This is the nuts and bolts. This is the, this is the, the engine room of Davos. And then you've got the famous bit. <laughs> The famous bit. That's the Zelenskys. That's you know the prime ministers and presidents who come. That's and make... you. No, no, you see. <laughs> and and it is a sort of tussle between the two. Constantly. If you walk up along there and you look at, you see, here we go. We've got a big one. I don't know who it is, but there's a big Anthony one. Anthony Blinken. Anthony there Blinken is coming. There you are. We so, have to rush. We have to rush. So that no, no, <laughs> no, no. Please, let him talk. Please, let him talk. No, that's going to be the big stuff. Yeah, sure. But now go round at the top and look at the names of all the different panels, and you realise the real work is being it's done here. I was talking to Howard Lucknick last night, yeah. uh, who's uh, CEO of uh, Cantor Fitzgerald, and he, yeah. he was saying he likes to just walk around and sit in groups and panels. He likes to talk to people and find out what it's about. Now, I need to dash because I have... <laughs> you want to know who I'm going to no, see? Just a very last quick yeah, question. What's the biggest story on this planet, on Earth, at the moment? What fascinates you most right now? AI. What has to be called? AI. 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 Is it good or bad for mankind? Oh, that's a, that's a when did you last stop beating your wife question. I think it's, uh, it's good for mankind. No, 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 no. It's two sides of the same coin. It's two sides of the same coin, because if we don't get it right, we will have a worse effect than the digitization of the 90s and the noughties. We'll have more people affected. The IMF said 40% of all jobs worldwide will be affected. Bearing in mind the, the gap, the countries that have not got the infrastructure or technical ability to use AI are the ones in the developing world. You're going to see this. Right? The gap's going to grow bigger, because those of us who've got jobs in the developed world will do better as a result of AI. Those who have not got access to that technology will fall okay, further But behind. as a Swiss, I'm a theological optimist. I've got Many thanks, uh, Richard, Thank for a this conversation. Optimist. All the best. Thank you. Good to see you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Ciao. Meine Damen und Herren, das war das Gespräch mit Richard Quest, der charismatische Wirtschaftsmoderator, die CNN-Legende hier im Kurzgespräch. Alles Gute und bis später.